Hi everyone. In this tutorial, we will be training a logistic regression or a softmax regression model using TensorFlow to predict if the input face is a neutral face or a smiling face. This is going to be a two-part series tutorial. In the first part, we are going to just train uh, the model, and in the second part, we will be going to test it on a, a live video a video feed. So about the data set, I will put the link in the in the description about the project uh, GitHub project. Uh, from where I have taken these data and other apart from that I have taken images from the Google images and cropped them manually and put it into the separate folders called neutral and smile okay so let's go to the project directory and we'll see the data okay uh, inside the data folder we have these two folders neutral and smile in neutral we have around okay 83 images I think okay oh sorry yeah. in this smile we have this 80 images around and then we have a model folder so in this folder after the training the model will be saved here in a test we have few images to test to test whether if they are smiling or a, a neutral face okay so let's go back to our Jupyter notebook okay here are the input so here I'm going to import all the necessary libraries which I need here I'm using the tensorflow version 1.2.1 and so this is the function loading data and resize here I am going to uh, return these images levels and their names so the main aim is to understand like uh, if the zero is smiling or one is not smiling so with he, he, here we'll check and separating the images and levels okay and putting into the other variables called images and labels here so as we see x y x will be the images and y will be the labels and classes will be the names so when we run this we will Oh my god okay it's not defined sorry I forgot to run this one and now we'll and again so here we'll see a data inside the data we have neutral and a smile and now here we have zero is neutral and one is a smile okay and here what I'm doing is I'm converting this level to one hot so if I print the one hot value so of the zero will be one zero and one will be zero one okay uh, i don't need this one now here okay so now we're going to check the dimension of our data so we have a 25 height 25 pixel height and width 45 pixel so the total number of data is 163 now we're going to split the data into training and testing so i'm using the function train set train test split from scikit-learn and I'm putting 33% of the data as a test size and it's done now we'll see the length of the training set and test set oh, we have 109 images for the training and 54 for the test so after that we have to do the flattening flattening the data into one dimension so as you can see in the picture we have a two dimensional array a 2d image here and we are making into one dimensional array here flattened image and these are the x y x1 x2 x3 and 2 up to x12 uh, these are all the pixel values which will be multiply with the weight vector here and then with the, add the biases and then we'll give, give this activation function and we'll get the output so as we can see here uh, while we implement softmax regression it need one dimensional array as an input it's important to convert 2d array to 1d array uh, so first we resize the image in our case we have already done with 45 pixel into 25 pixel and then flatten into a vector of length 1125 with each pixel representing the grayscale of the pixel so here we'll do the flattening part here and we'll see so we have flattened we have 109 
training sets with the dimension of 1125 and then the test set of 54 11 25 here you can see all the values between 0 to 255 uh, this is the gray scale value and now here we are going to normalize the data normalizing means we are going to like scaling of the all the pixel values between 0 and 1 so now as you can see here so the all the values the earlier it was 172 so now it's 0 0.67 so all the values all the pixel values will be between 0 and 1 okay so now the time is to building this softmax regression using tensorflow here we are going to import tensorflow i think already i have in, imported the tensorflow uh, yeah okay no problem so here is the x x will be the input uh, as in the image we have this x vector vector this will be the input so it's a placeholder will pass the value in a dictionary form uh, when we run this session so it will having the dimension of 1125 and then the weight will have a dimension of 1125 by 2 because after that we have only two classes because it will be either 0 or 1 then we'll add the basis then we have uh, the softmax activation function after the matrix multiplication we we'll have with the wx plus b we'll do the softmax activation then we got the y and the we are using the loss as a cross entropy loss okay so let's run this one now in the hyperparameter i am using learning rate 0 0.1 uh, because this gives me a, a better result earlier i was trying with 0 0.5 or uh, 0.4 also but it's not giving me a relevant accuracy needed so here i'm using the gradient descent optimizer okay let's start the server function is used to save the trained model into the uh, to the disk here we are using this with tf dot session started and we are running for the 15,000 epochs and we'll check uh, this training loss at every thousand iteration or thousand steps. And we are after that we'll save the model. Okay, let's run this. So the loss, uh, the first loss after the thousand iteration is 0 0.69 and then it's come to 0 0.024. And it's it will going to decrease. It it should decrease. So we can wait till the time the training is completed. So accuracy on test data with learning date 0 0.1 we got 94.4 now we're going to for the prediction so we'll see how it will perform on the unseen data which has not been seen by the learning model so here we'll going to again use the saver function so for the loading the uh, the data which we have saved and uh, now we can go to the model data and we'll see here we have meta index and data now here I will printing the value of uh, weight and biases uh, because earlier we have started with I think zero yes zeros so now it will have some value because it has learned so it will print some value the weight which is learned uh, during the training I am going to read the very first image that is test underscore 5 m let's go and we'll check uh, what kind of image this okay so this is test 5 n this is the image from it's a neutral face 
and then here I'm going to resize it and then converting all the pre-processing things and let's run this and we'll see how it's here okay now we can see that uh, weight we have some values here and basis also so as now you can see that here it is showing uh, 0.99 like 9.9 .9 to the power minus 1 is 0 0.9 it's close to 1 and it's 0 so 1 0 is our neutral one I think as you remember when we have printed this one here we have 1 0 as a neutral one so 0 was converted to 1 0 let's test on some other data okay we'll go into test with this one test underscore one jpeg okay so now it's saying that is smile here you can see the 0 0.9 or 99 percent is saying that it's a smile image let's test with some other data test for yes okay it's also a smile as you can see it's a smile only okay we, we try with this image also test underscore 2 it says normal 19 uh, neutral it's 99 percent it's a neutral okay so this is the first part of this tutorial in the second part I am going to make this as a real time, a real time smile or neutral face recognition, face detection. We can say that. 